We have a wonderful writing program where an author comes in for each grade level, and as well as doing a presentation, they'll do a writing program with the particular grade. Uh, today we have first graders, and Judy Casely is here with them. Um, the writing program is so important because it goes with our writer's workshop that begins in kindergarten and goes right through fifth grade. Now this floating big fat jelly bean in the air is her dad, Mr. Pink. What's different about Mr. Pink besides the fact that it didn't finish his body? What's different? Here's the hint. There's no bald. Exactly, he's bald. A little boy wrote me a letter and said, Mrs. Casey, do you realize that you have 15 bald fathers in your books? I said, I do? Without even realizing it, I was putting all these bald dads in the books because my dad was bald. He was prematurely bald. He was bald for the whole time that I was with him. Writing about your everyday life is something that's very important. Through Judith Paisley, they saw how she incorporated events that happened in her life to her family and to her children. Uh, another important part of this is to see that you have to revise. Even people who get published don't get it right the first time. So revision is a big part of writing. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not spell the word the right way the first time that you're doing it. Tell me what book you read. Can you tell me what it was about? It's about a big boy and a little boy fighting. They started out fighting at the end they got along something. I love seeing the children that I'm writing for and seeing how they react to the books because sometimes when you're working at home, you're in a vacuum and you're not really seeing how the children react. When I moved to a new neighborhood with my child, Jenna showed her friend all the books and the child chose Priscilla twice. It's a book about divorce that I wrote and the girl said it made her feel better because she could read about a little girl that was also having parents that were divorced. So it's very empowering for me to be able to see the children react to the stories and even the details that they find that I don't remember putting into the books. I, as an author and an illustrator, do research. So if I don't know what a cheetah looks like, what if I thought the cheetah was the one with the stripes, right? When, when Mrs. Tedesco gives me a picture of a cheetah from a book, I go, oh, and the paws are like that. I started doing uh, speeches and presentations when I was 30. Uh, recently, they started asking for workshops. It's really very empowering to write about your real life, and they have the facts and the details, so it's the easiest thing to write about. And then I tell them to use emotion and detail, and then we've got really good stories about their lives. And they can do it. And then with all the techniques that we have now where you can actually bind the book, they can come home with a book about their life. I know that you all got up this morning, right? You all got up and out of bed this morning. Write something that you did this morning. You must have maybe brushed your teeth or done something, right? Today we have visit from Judith, Judith Casey. And right now, we're doing a writing program. I'm jumping on my mom's bed, and, and I'm watching Beyblade. You can write a book with your life in it. I try to catch the bus on time. I had to run to get the bus on time. The kids love it, they absolutely talk about it. Um, generally what I do at the end of the day when we have an author visit is I send an email out to the parents of that grade level just letting them know this author was here, this is what they did. Um, and then often I'll get responses from the parents where they'll let me know that their kids came home and um, couldn't stop talking about the writing activity they did. Uh, it's part of a new program that we initiated last year. Uh, it's called our Authors in Residence program which is sponsored by our PTA and they've uh, done a lot of fundraising to help us bring in authors for every grade level. So um, in this instance we have K and one together just because the kids Kindergartners are not doing as much writing yet, but the idea behind it is that our children are exposed to really amazing authors and literature as they develop their skills as readers and writers. So we have the authors come in, they talk to the children, uh, they do activities with the children, they do some writing stuff with them, and then we build on those skills after the authors are here. Um, I think they're kind of in awe of the fact that they have a real author here, you know, and, and someone that they want to model after and use as a mentor. Um, and the parents, I think, are appreciative of the fact that our assembly money is going to some really meaningful and appropriate and curriculum-based activities, but fun as well.